the Middle Colonies, Pennsylvania, and the Quakers. Founded by William Penn in 1681, Pennsylvania was a restoration colony. A restoration colony is a colony formed by the restored King of England, Charles II. The King gave land grants in the New World in order to pay off debts. William Penn was a Quaker, also known as part of the Religious Society of Friends. He and his fellow Quakers believed in complete equality and total religious freedom. Also unique to their culture was opposition to slavery and war. While refusing to pay taxes to the Church of England, they held meetings in local buildings where everyone, male or female, could voice their opinion. In England, Quakers suffered from religious persecution by the Church of England, just like the Puritans and the Separatists. Because they were pacifists, they refused to fight against their persecutors and wouldn't pay taxes if they believed the money would go to promote the cause of war. They refused to swear oaths, so their loyalty to the crown was always in question. Because of their views on complete equality, they were persecuted by those who believed in a social hierarchy. In addition, they refused to tip their hats in the presence of their betters. Finally, Quakers did not believe in official titles and refused to use them. Quaker families were surprisingly small because they believed in only raising a few children so as to raise them properly. Children were not physically disciplined, rather parents used guilt to teach children how to behave and do the right thing. Women also had equal rights with men in the house. Citizens of early Pennsylvania treated Native Americans fairly, made many peace treaties, and even paid the Indians to share the land with them. Penn's treaty enforced these principles, and the colony initially had no need for a militia. The colony was ruled by representative government, and the Quakers agreed on self-taxation. Pennsylvania was the number one producer of grains and was one of the breadbasket colonies. Quakers were considered outcasts everywhere, and many of their beliefs are still present in society today. The Quakers were some of the original implementers of complete religious freedom and the idea of universal equality. Their anti-conflict status with the Indians was different from those of the Spanish colonies, as well as most of the other British colonies. The concept of equal rights for women and that slavery was morally wrong were advanced for their time period.